Hey, I'm glad to see you. In case you didn't know me, I'm Shantaria. The big idea of the week is God gives us a savior to guide us. One night, many years ago, some shepherds were out taking care of their sheep when suddenly angels appeared all around them. I'm sure the light surrounding the angels was pretty bright, but their message was even more incredible. Jesus, the savior they had been waiting for, had just been born and would guide them forever. You'll learn more about that today. Let's go praise God with a song first. It's Ashley. I'm excited you're here. Have you ever been surprised by something wonderful, like a surprise gift, party, or friend coming to visit? Today, we'll hear about the shepherds receiving a wonderful surprise. Not only were they surprised to see angels all around them, but they were overjoyed at the message the angels shared. Let's see. We're getting closer and closer to Christmas. I love this time of year. We get to sing Christmas songs, celebrate with family and friends, and remember Jesus' birth. We might think Christmas is about presents, 
But the real present at Christmas time is that God sent Jesus to be with us. Last week, we heard about Elizabeth and Zachariah having a baby boy. We heard about the angel telling Mary she was going to have a special baby too. She was supposed to get married to Joseph, and he was a good man and stayed by her side. When it was almost time for Mary to have the baby, they had to travel back to Joseph's hometown, Bethlehem. When they got there, they looked for a place to stay, but there were so many people in Bethlehem and every room was filled. They stopped by an inn, which is a place people stay all night, but the innkeeper told them it was full. Mary knew it was almost time for the baby to come, so they really needed a place to stay. The innkeeper told them they could stay with the animals in the barn. So they went into the barn, and Mary had the baby. They put baby Jesus in a manger, which is a feeding box for animals. They didn't have doctors or nurses or people to help with the baby. And it wasn't a fancy place for a special baby to be born. But this was the most special night because Jesus was not an ordinary baby. Jesus would grow up to become the most special gift anyone can have. After Jesus was born, there were shepherds taking care of sheep in fields nearby. An angel appeared to them and told the shepherds about baby Jesus being born. And then many more angels appeared, praising God. The shepherds hurried to find Jesus. They found Mary and Joseph in the barn with baby Jesus, and the shepherds praised Jesus. Then they told everyone they knew about the birth of this special person. It's the most wonderful news. We have someone, Jesus, to help us love God and others. God gives a savior to guide us. The birth of Jesus was wonderful and amazing, and it was definitely not ordinary. Do you know what was unusual about where Jesus was born? Jesus wasn't born in a hospital or a nice room at his home. His parents were traveling for the census and couldn't find a room to stay. They placed Jesus in a manger, which is a feeding bowl for animals. Jesus could have been born in a palace, but God let Jesus come in a very humble way, surrounded by animals and without anything fancy. Even though his surroundings weren't fancy, what happened in the sky was magnificent. To announce Jesus' birth to the world, God sent an angel to announce to shepherds God sent an angel to announce to shepherds in their fields the wonderful news of Jesus' birth. Thousands of angels joined this messenger in the sky praising God. God could have announced Jesus' birth to kings or important politicians, but chose to tell the shepherds first. Shepherds weren't important or special. They were smelly from being with the sheep all day. Jesus didn't just come for people who seem important or special. He came for everyone. God sent Jesus, our Savior, to guide us. So, as you go through the week, remember our big idea. God gives us a Savior to guide us. I'll see you next time. Thank you guys for coming today. Parents, find our lesson materials link below on our app or our website at discoverdestiny.org. Join us for next week. Bye.